catch the fire, receive the power, spread the word. We now invite you to join the Church of Pentecost on a sponsored religious program, the Pentecost Hour. Welcome to the Pentecost Hour. So holiness comes from the heart. Yes, in as Bible says, cry dying for us. difference between these two children, I will tell you what the difference is. Araba relies on Tobin's baby care gripe water for the relief it gives her baby from griping pain, flatulence, colic, and regurgitation. So this is all I need? Yes, Tobin's baby care gripe water is all you need. Mothers love Tobin's baby care gripe water for the relief it gives their babies from griping pain, flatulence, colic, and regurgitation. Tobin's baby care gripe water is another quality medicine from Tobinko Pharmaceuticals Limited. Available in all pharmacies and chemical shops nationwide. Praise the Lord. Once again, we give praise and glory unto God our Lord, who has watched over us and kept us by his power. Once again, you are welcome to Pentecost Hour, brought to you by the Church of Pentecost headquarters and proudly supported by Tobinko Pharmaceuticals Limited. For some couple of weeks, Apostle Nene Ofoyi Amagache has been taking us through a series of teachings on the subject you and God's will. May God bless you as you watch Pentecost Hour and listen to Apostle Nene Ufwe Amagache. Praise the Lord. May the grace of the Almighty God be upon you. We have been going through the series of knowing or determining God's will for our lives. It is very important for you to know that God is not a one-way God. He has got various methods of guiding his people. And if you know the different methods by which God guides his people, you will not get confused in life. You may have one of the ways or a couple of them or all the four of them to determine what God wants you to do in life. We've talked about God's will determined through supernatural guidance. It can be dreams, visions, or prophetic utterances. We've talked about God leading us through circumstances. Some of the things will be normal things. Some of them too will be very, very abnormal. But still, God is God. His sovereign power can let him do whatever he wants to do. Today, we are going on to God's will determined through matured counseling. And as I said from the beginning, the major passage we are using for this series 
is Romans chapter 12 verses 1 and 2. Na twere sema ya gina so eye sanchirechire eye Roman for ngoma etidu mienu chichemu baako eni mienu no. Therefore I urge you brothers enunti mitumufu enuano in view of God's mercies and now mi yankopon mboburo hunti to offer your bodies as living sacrifices sa monfa muri pedwensi wasa aforia eti ase holy and pleasing to God this is your spiritual act of worship. Do not conform any longer to the pattern of this world. But be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is. His good, pleasing, and perfect will. Sometimes God makes his will known through the counseling and guidance of other people. Therefore, if it happens that you think you are all in all, you make a mistake in life. And this because God can use various people, people who are older or younger than you, to guide you. If we say, Because don't be surprised that a boy of six years can say something that will change your whole life. Because can say something God can use people who are more educated or less educated than you to guide you in your way of living. It's not all people who are educated who can give wise counseling. Go to Agbogloshi. And you find people who can determine whether these goods should come on the market or not, whilst they do not have BA degree in economics. So God can use anybody at all to guide you in your way of living. And God can use people who are more noble than you or less noble than you. Your maid servant can be used by God. The truck pusher who pushes along the streets of Accra can be used by God to speak to you. Or somebody you think is useless can be used to make you useful. So let me give you the Swiss word of caution that you see you are making yourself great disservice if maybe somebody that God has brought in your way to speak to you and to guide you, you are closing your ears to that person's counseling. In Exodus chapter 18, from verse 13, this is what the scripture says. The next day Moses took his seat to serve as judge for the people. From verse 6. Verse 13. From verse 13. And they stood around him from morning till evening. When his father in law saw all that Moses was doing for the people, he said, What is this you are doing for the people? Now Moses as he knew the all your omanu yinano or can say. Why do you alone sit as judge while all these people stand around you from morning till evening? And Moses answered, Because the people come to me to seek God's will. 
Whenever they have a dispute, it is brought to me and I decide between the parties and inform them of God's decrees and laws. What? Moses' father-in-law replied, what you are doing is not good. You and these people who come to you will only wear yourselves out. The work is too heavy for you and you cannot handle it alone. Listen to me and I will give you some advice and may God be with you. You must be the people's representative before God and bring their disputes to him. Teach them the decrees and the laws and show them the way to live and duties they are to perform. But select capable men from all the people, men who fear God, trustworthy men, who hate this honest gain and appoint them as officials of our thousands, hundreds, fifties, and tens. Now, one so ye or man, you know, Marima, why yet ding, was thrown your coupon, why yet on a cough war, now one yet, see can be pre, now for one sissy one so, a pim, a pim so, and penny, or ha or ha so, and penny, and you know, and you know, so, and penny, need to do so, and penny. And verse 24 says, Moses listened to his father in law. And did everything he said. And uh, Moses tie na sem na se asem no na oyo di o kachire nunu ina. Moses had a clear vision from God. Moses, no one need us to do it. A yet a da ho pe fe fe we adi ho. The message from God was so clear that nobody ought to interrupt it. Asema ni amede manu na a da ho pe fe se na ni so biya be chunchu anemu. But he needed somebody to fine tune. That thing that God had given to him. You need somebody to guide you the way you are going. You need somebody to show you how to take your steps as you cross the road. You need somebody to open opportunities for you to make it as you want to make it. And I pray that God will bring a Jethro in your life. Because Jethro was there to help Moses fine tune God's plan for his life. And therefore, God's will can be determined through mature guidance. Matured counseling God can use to guide your life. In 1 Samuel chapter 30, Samuel, we come to another situation where God used certain people or somebody to guide David. David took 600 men to go and help the Philistines. David and But the Philistines rejected their offer. Na When they came back to where they lived, the Amalekites had come to raid the whole compound. Na Amaleki fono had taken away all their wives, their children, and every property of theirs. David got so much disturbed. But he put his trust in the Lord. And he decided to chase these Amalekites and go for his property. Along the way, 200 of the men got so much exhausted that they could not continue the fight. And therefore, David continued with only 400 men. Somewhere along the line, 